So uh, my name is David Elstrom. I'm an engineer in the province of Ontario, Canada. And ventilation is a very important factor. It's the main difference between indoors and outdoors during this pandemic. So a quick definition of ventilation, we've already talked about it. Here's a quick definition. Supplying clean outdoor air to the space and removing stale indoor air. There's three main types of ventilation for classrooms. Natural, basically through windows. It is inherently unreliable, and there's many cases where the windows just can't open very far for other reasons of safety and security. Second, common in around 1960s type construction, partial mechanical ventilation. This is a classroom with an exhaust fan in it, usually close to where the blackboard is, and it exhausts some of the stale air, but the, the air that comes in either comes from other classrooms and other locations, or it comes in through cracks and open windows. So it's coming in and it's not filtered. The third type is a mechanical ventilation system. It uses fans in a system to provide outdoor air, filter it, and also remove stale air. So when there's an outbreak, if it's, at a, if it's a food outbreak in a restaurant or uh, a water supply outbreak, the first thing you do is send engineers in to have a look, or not, not for food perhaps, but for, for a water outbreak, it would be send, send engineers in to have a look at it. We need to be doing that when there is an outbreak in a congregated setting like this for a classroom if, to check the ventilation systems. One way that we can do that, even before there's an outbreak, is by